Hey, it's Steve Spangler from the Spangler Effect with another cool science demo from our demo lab. I'm not normally a lab coat guy, but this is going to get messy. I've got to be really, really careful that I don't get this material on me. Uh, there's a lot being done with nanotechnology right now, and, uh, and this is uh, absolutely amazing. This is a, uh, a glass-restoring kind of fluid that's right here. And uh, you see kind of the, the yellow color that's there. I have it in this big container. Well, here, let me show you what we're going to do. So safety glasses on. I'm going to take this beaker. So here's our, our beaker, and we're going to do the unthinkable. So take a look. It goes right there. And we'll wrap it up once. Uh, this is the sad part. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Oh, you can hear it go. There it is. Ah, oh, there it is. What a bummer. Okay, well, uh, this is the restoring fluid that's here. So let me do this. Let me uh, turn this in just a little bit like this. I think that'll be great. And now I'm going to pour the broken glass into the restoring fluid. Here we go. Here it goes. Oh. Oh, oh there it is. Good. Great. Okay, perfect. And now... Uh, I can't touch it with my hands, but I can put the gloves on here. And the crazy thing is when you, uh, when you go down inside here like, oh, you could already feel the restoring action. This is absolutely amazing. Let me see if I can, oh, that is good. I, th I think that's it. I think that's exactly what we needed. All right, let me see if I've got it here. Watch this. Here it is. Oh, it is. Here it is. There it is. Look at this. Wait, it's not formed completely. That's it. Look, it's back again, solidified. You have to blow on it a little bit. It's the carbon dioxide that um, kind of seals it. And, and uh, there it is. It's all <laughs> restored. All right. If any of you are believing any of this nanotechnology, just baloney, don't. It's just a really cool demo with the index of refraction. But it's all about the story, isn't it? It's all about how you weave the story. A lot of people do this in a small little container. I wanted to do it for television in this big container. So when we originally did the demonstration, we had a, a huge, huge tub. But I really like this. And you notice that we didn't, uh, we, uh, we, we didn't uh, uh, put little hex marks on here, scratch marks or something like that, so that you really got to see a true representation of what it looks like here in the oil. Okay, well, let me show you what is going on here. Here, I'm just going to get oil everywhere. Here is our secret. Our glass restoring oil is nothing more than Wesson oil. Now, not all Wesson oils are the same. So if I were you, I would practice a little bit, especially with the container that you get as well. It's all about the index of refraction. And so let me, oh, here, just to show you that uh, if, you, if you come back and take a look over here, look, there, uh, we had one that we pulled out. Oh, look at this. There's even a second one that is in there. Absolutely amazing. Just for fun, I was hiding it in there. But watch what happens. If you watch very closely, watch what happens. You can see the beaker inside. So you can see it. You can see it. That's because there's air inside. But watch what happens when it fills with oil. It like it vanishes. Isn't that gorgeous? And I have to be careful because all the broken glass is still down there as well. So if I reach in down here, yeah, there it is. So you see all the pieces of broken glass are still down there, but it all has to do with the index of refraction. All right, so here, let me get out of the glove and see if I can direct your attention over here. So uh, I have these two vases that are here. You've seen the thing before where you have a glass of water and you put the pencil in the glass of water and it looks like it's a broken pencil. Well, same thing can happen here with the oil. Let me fill this up with oil. Good. So here we go. Here, there's our oil. And you want to let it rest a little bit so you don't have all the bubbles inside. But you can see as the pencil goes in, it looks like it's broken there. You see? And that's because the light is traveling through the glass and that's at a different speed than the light is traveling through the glass and through the oil. If you can find a material, that liquid, the oil, that has the same index of refraction as that of the glass that you're using, well, then you've got yourself a possibility of becoming invisible, something becoming invisible, and that's exactly what we're trying to do. So it's, uh, it's been known for a long time that Wesson oil and Pyrex, or borosilic glass, 
um, it has a very similar index of refraction. And if you can't get it so it's exactly right, I'll give you a little uh, tip at the end as well. So I have some test tubes here just to, to be able to test. So some different test tubes this way. Let me uh, put some more oil, some of this uh, Wesson oil in here as well. Notice that this is just the vegetable oil. It's uh, no additives, nothing. But I've had people tell me that some works a little bit better than others, even though the brand and everything is still the same. So let me do the same thing here. Let's put this test tube down inside. I knew I would do too much. Just knew it. All right, so let's try that. So now the test tube goes down inside like this. You definitely can see it in there. Once we start to add some of the oil, oh, it looks good. Let's see what that looks like. That really is looking quite good. So look at that. You really can see the top part here, but when it comes down here, all you're seeing are the little tiny edges. And even when you zoom in close, you start to see it that way, but it does look pretty good, doesn't it? Let's do the same thing with this guy here. Here is our, our uh, smaller test tube, and let me fill this with oil. There you go here. And now watch what happens when we drop this in. There it goes and vanishes. That one really, really looks good. So that's an even better test tube that's there. You start to see a little ghosting around the edges there. So as the uh, light comes in and refracts off that, that edge there. But I'm telling you, it really, really looks good. I'm hoping it looks as good on camera as it looks here. So how great to be able to weave the story. And I think the whole um, premise here is the demonstration's cool, the science is really, really cool, but the other part too is your presentation, right? And uh, weaving that presentation as a method of engagement, pulling people in, because sitting down and saying, well, today we're just learning about index of refraction may not be nearly as fun as a glass restoring oil that kind of blows your mind. All right, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Visit us over at Six Science or our other channel, Spangler Science TV, where every week we're all uploading stuff that we're doing on uh, television around the country. Uh, follow us on the social channels, and uh, you can visit us at stevespanglerscience.com for write-ups on all the labs. Do everything possible to keep making science fun. Looks good. Looks really good.